Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Stanley Salusonic, a.k.a. Stallion, a.k.a. the man that knows what the people want. So in this video today, we're going to be making a, a trap beat, a hard trap beat, because I don't know how to make soft trap beats, okay? Because, uh, you know, they always got to hit hard anyway. But uh, I'm going to be starting off with a piano today. Although I, I kind of already have like an idea that I'm going to use for this because I tend to use pianos a lot and I haven't actually done this method in a while, which is reversing like some notes or even the whole loop. I haven't done that in quite a bit, but um, I'm going to try to do that in this video today. So I'm just kind of picking a piano sound and uh, let's see what I come up with. Let me turn on my MIDI controller, which is not on for some reason. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a tempo. Uh, I'm not really feeling 150. Not 160 either. Kind of feeling 165. I want it a little bit more. Kind of like that. I'm trying to think of a melody right now. so you guys can kind of see what notes I'm playing. I'm also playing this lower F, it's just not showing up. That's like a minor to a major. I just want to kind of create some tension, kind of. We're going to repeat that. We're going to repeat that a couple times. thinking about uh, adding like a top 
melody not really a melody just some ear candy but i feel like i'm gonna reverse that instead I'm just trying to arrange this in a way that I can hopefully reverse it without any issues. So. I'm just, I'm just split it. It's kind of already named itself. Uh, so, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this horizontally. Uh, I don't know if I want to preserve the star sounds. Let me see. I'm going to just accept it. Regularly flipped. Consolidate this track. Well, there isn't anything on the effects anyway. But. I just gotta line it up to the other piano and hopefully it you know does not sound messed up because I haven't done this in a while so I'm just kind of going off of muscle memory here kind of sounds you know a rhythmic doesn't exactly have a rhythm but I, I may have done it wrong or I actually haven't flipped this back let's see Actually, it sounds perfect with the, with the main chords. So I'm just gonna kind of move on to drums right now. Yeah, I fuck with that. So let's try to find some drums. Okay, this is like a hip hop pack. Um, I'm looking for some really heavy drums. I usually start with the 808, but I feel like I'm gonna start with the with the the kick this time for some reason. But I usually don't even trip about my kick patterns like that. You feel me? But yeah, let's let's try something out real quick.
don't think I can get any better right now, but. chop up this hi-hats a little bit because uh, I usually leave it till later and I don't know I just feel like that's not kind of a very uniform way to do stuff for me but I mean it works out for me though <laughs>
Next thing I'm gonna put on is open hi hats. Kind of stop talking for a little bit there, zoned in. But um, next thing is the open hi hats. <laughs> I like to mix a lot of packs just to get the exact sound that I'm looking for because a lot of sound packs they kind of make the sounds to feel a certain way sometimes and sure enough I like the feel on you know maybe like the kicks and the 808s but then maybe the snares might you know they might not be feeling right you feel me so I might not use the snares or hi-hats or any high frequency stuff from that pack but some free, you know, some packs just have, you know, everything. And they do, but I don't use everything in them still because that kind of limits you in a way. You feel me? But, yeah. This this pack right here, I believe is by Prod LLB. If I'm wrong, uh, I don't know, man. But it's been a while since I've been using this one though. <laughs> try this first I may go in a totally different part the uh, pack but <laughs> Kind of hard 808, but kind of long. You feel me? Those are kind of giving me short vibes.
might not punch this one in actually. I'm not feeling too comfortable about punching this on this tempo. But yeah. <laughs> See how it sounds with the the other stuff though. <laughs> It's a pretty simple drum pattern right there. I'm gonna just split it by channel. Play it out real quick. Cause when I make my beats, I always like to make like, like the, I, I kind of like have, like doing them in sections, you feel me? Like that basically is like the whole beat to me, but I'm gonna change up the, and vary it in different parts of the actual beat, you feel me? But. Um, this I just figured out that like, this is a simpler way for me to you know crank out a lot of beats because I'm not always thinking oh this is what snare pattern one is gonna sound like this is what snare pattern two is gonna sound like for the first snare pattern all I did was put it on the on basically where every snare hits without any special variations or anything you feel me. <laughs> are kind of too they're on like a wrong key i don't know i'm gonna change it and see see how i feel about it <laughs> Thank you.
uh, so what I did before is flip it without preserving the start times. I'm going to preserve the start time this time and do the exact same thing. <coughs> So I'm kind of, I'm just kind of taking y'all through, you know, the process of me making this beat. I'm not going to mix this beat in this video. Uh, if you guys want a video of me mixing, to be honest, I feel like mixing is just like a, it's like an art form, you feel me? Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to tell you oh this is what you need to do to mix this or sound make this sound this rather I would help you troubleshoot your mixes and try to figure out why stuff is sounding the way it does but typically when stuff sounds good the, uh, from the gain staging point without you putting any effects on it like from your sound selection your um, your tempo, your key, all of that, you feel me? All of that factors in into whether your beat's gonna sound the right way or not. So I kind of tried, I kind of try to do that as second nature now because um, people be getting beat block, you feel me? Uh, and I don't, I don't think I ever had beat block since you know I figured out how to properly you know make a hard beat you feel me i think i like this one a little bit better than the other one sounds a little bit more rhythmic consolidate these as well um, just because I don't really I don't really want to keep all these audio files uh, I'm sorry MIDI tracks going on because it kind of draws CPU I don't usually do this, but uh, I just kind of heard it glitching for a second, so I don't want any issues. So the next thing I'm gonna do is consolidate the like the counter piano melody. And one thing I'm gonna advise a lot of people is, whenever you take your time to mix something really well, save presets. Because what really speeds up my mixing is mm -hmm. presets, but doesn't mean I don't take my time on them though. But that's another reason why I don't really want to sit down here and m mix every single thing for y'all. If y'all need me to show y'all how to mix 808s better, I could show you a method for that, things that you could do. You need to mix pianos better, I can help you with that. Snares, hi hats kicks and I'm not really good with percussion but I can I can try to help you out with that but yeah those are those are kind of like things that I've kind of taken my time to learn how to perfect and a lot of people might say you know 
it's the sound you know you got to find the perfect sound sometimes yeah you have the perfect sound but it doesn't sound right it has the perfect feel but you need to do stuff to it to kind of make it the right the right sound but besides this um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything else to the to the beat um, I already kind of changed up the pattern so here's a listen actually you know what I'm gonna lay it out a little bit just cause you know that's how it go I'm gonna start it off with the pianos. I gotta make another hi hat pattern, but it's really not another hi hat pattern. It's just a two step hi hat pattern. And then, um, I will have to add a clap to this. My bad. Just because of the arrangement, uh, I need to. I need to add something else to it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go slay digital um, the hip hop samples drums one shot traps kinda like this one so oh no that would have been bad if I could undo it though. But yeah. Um so the clap. And I do already have an idea for the clap. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna record it in. pattern this is what happens when I try to rush finishing a, a beat So don't really like drum rolls in my trap beats. Not all the time, but yeah, that sounds that sounds all right to me. But uh, that that would you know this beat will probably take a little bit more time to finish. It's just. I'm basically done with it. I'm just kind of playing around with it and seeing what I like. And you guys can do the exact same thing. But this beat did not, you know, it wasn't a lot to cook up. You feel me? It's just taking time and understanding what you're trying to put down. And like I said, I just wanted to make a hard trap beat. You feel? Like, you feel me? So, um, I felt like I accomplished that. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want me to do a video of me mixing this, please.
please leave it in the comments below. I would appreciate it. Peace.